Good morning all. All right, everyone's at work. I've got the morning off, so I'm out doing a video. What we're gonna talk about today is a climate change update. It's an, another important one. One of the ways I make sure that people understand what's happening is I go with the same sources over and over for detailed weather information, such as I'm about to give you. I am gonna go with NASA today, and NASA came out with their hottest month warning once again for August. Okay, according to NASA, that is the 11th consecutive month in a row of record temperatures, leading NASA to believe that 2016 will be hotter than 2015. Record heat, making it the fourth consecutive year of records per year after year. It sure doesn't look like it's going to slow down anytime soon, people, and this is looking really serious. All right, I want you to, to look at this uh, graph I've got. I've got a couple of graphs here that are pretty uh, self-explanatory, but uh, one is showing the temperature year by year, the curved one, and that's... Uh, represents the uh, seasons there, the up and down, that's why it goes up and down. And then uh, good old CO2 count per month is all we have because the by day one is uh, not available today. Gosh, it's just absolutely another incredible, beautiful California day. Do I ever talk about how horrible the weather is? <laughs> Not very often, other than the heat. And today it's perfect. It's in the 60s. So, this record goes back to 1880 when they started writing these records down. But of course it goes back millions of years now. This is, uh, we're seeing an unprecedented change in both temperature and rise in CO2. The uh, temperature went up by 0.16 degrees Celsius. Okay, we don't have today's CO2 count, but we have last year's CO2 count, which was 397.37 parts per million. We also have the uh, monthly CO2 average that we don't talk about much because it's just an average. It really doesn't show the whole scheme like a day-to-day -day does, but let's do it anyway. So last year, the CO2 average for the month of August was 399 parts per million. August 2016 is 402 parts per million. It absolutely amazes me uh, what's happening on the globe and that there can still be denial. I, I really, it just amazes me, but hopefully there's some of you guys on here and you're just watching it because you feel as if it's a neutral site where you can get honest reports on the uh, environment as I see them and as I research them. It happens to be one of my hobbies. Ever since I was a little child, I was into the environment, so I have carried it on. You know, there's only one way we can fix this catastrophe is ourselves, by not driving so much. I mean, really, that's the best thing we can do. And remember, each vehicle that is manufactured is 
it, it uses up more fossil fuel in the manufacturing of the vehicle than the entire life of the vehicle being driven. So not only do you drive less, but you keep your old vehicles longer. You maintenance them and it'll be cheaper that way and better on the environment. And who gives a f what the Joneses have? You know, here in the U.S. it just amazes me that there's a new vehicle that's even bigger than the biggest SUV was. I think it's a pickup truck something. It's gigantic. It's about half the size of a school, a full-size school bus. And it's it's wide and big and it, it comes for, for cyclists, you know what hell these big gigantic vehicles are in the hands of novices. They should have their truck driver license for this size vehicles. It's getting a bit ridiculous and you're not helping the environment. You know, the bigger the vehicle, the more process it takes to make it. Now, when you go to electric vehicles, that's, that's a real question. Is electric vehicle really better because of the batteries that get thrown away and the acid that gets in, in the environment because of where these batteries end up in China where they just break them open with a hammer and the stuff just oozes out all over and contaminates the land and also ends up down in Mexico where they process these batteries and they do the same thing and let the, the uh, acid flow down into the uh, creeks. So just think of these things when you're purchasing, you know, if you're purchasing all this stuff, you're after year you know to upgrade and keep up with the Joneses you're just not helping the environment whatsoever you're much better having something that's pretty old and it's still working and and you're you know you work it until it's dead you know then you turn it into artwork so it doesn't die of a of a being thrown into a, a scrap heap of junk that ends up in China well can you believe this we were just here the other day at Google and look it looks like Google has split in half. Is, oh, there it is. Is that YouTube down there? Down on the ground? So we're kind of keeping these videos a little short as I can until YouTube comes out with its new updates. So, I certainly appreciate the last comments I've been having. Russell, you have excellent comments. Nice, uh, nice links and things. I appreciate all your guys' comments and your links and I appreciate all the ups and downs and the new subscribers. And until next time.